Today I'm going to show you how I made some cinnamon raisin biscuits with a cinnamon filling. And if you wanted these to be more like Hardy's cinnamon raisin biscuits, then just skip the filling part and add a little more cinnamon to the dough. I ended up with a little more of this filling than I really needed, so I'm going to give you the correct amounts here. Uh, take half a cup of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and two tablespoons of vanilla instant pudding mix. Mix that together thoroughly and then add a couple tablespoons of water until you have a spreadable consistency. It should look something like this. Now to make the dough, I used two cups of flour and this is white lily all-purpose flour and this is a secret to having light tender biscuits. If you can, get your hands on some of this. I added four teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a third cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then I mixed that together thoroughly and I added four tablespoons of shortening and I cut that in until the mixture resembled a coarse cornmeal. Then I added half a cup of raisins and three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. You might have to add a little more flour or a little more buttermilk to get your dough to work out right. The moisture content of flour can vary from time to time, so you have to adjust to it. Here's what the dough looked like when I finished mixing it. Then I poured it onto a floured surface, and I pulled it together well. Then I rolled it out. If you want this without the filling, then roll the dough thicker. If you want it with the filling, then roll it out thinner. Then cut out your biscuits. I put the biscuits on a baking pan, and then I topped them with a little gob of the filling and then topped it again with another biscuit. Once all the biscuits were done, I baked them at 425 for 14 minutes. You might have to adjust that a little one way or another depending on your oven. To make the icing, I mixed together one cup of confectioner sugar, about a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and a little milk, about a tablespoon or so, and mixed it together until it formed like a frosting. I put the biscuits on a cooling rack, and when they had cooled down a bit, then I frosted them. So here they are, cinnamon raisin biscuits with a cinnamon filling. The cinnamon gives it a real punch of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, then don't put the filling in there. <laughs> and I can't stress enough what a difference this white lily flour makes. They end up very tender, very light. Uh, it's the secret to the Hardy's biscuits. It just it makes all the difference in the world. I had a real hard time trying to figure out just how to illustrate how soft and light these are. But they're not crusty. They have a lot of spring to them, and they're very moist. Uh, they're excellent biscuits, and they were real good the next day, too. I put some in a microwave. And heated them for 20 seconds and they're just as good that way the next day. So that's how I made cinnamon raisin biscuits. I hope it helps. 